What's going on fellow tech addicts? You're watching JS2 Sense and today I'm bringing you a special unboxing of the Corsair Vengeance K70 keyboard. This thing is supposed to be badass. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, now that we've gotten a good look at the box, let's go ahead and dive inside and see exactly what comes inside the package. Okay, so inside the package it comes in a plastic sleeve. Um, it's inside of a cardboard, you know, kind of a fitted uh, panel, I guess you could say. Uh, you lift this up and you can see you've got your replaceable uh, red keys, which you know I'm going to be putting these on just because the contrast looks really, really nice. Little uh, key removal tool, it looks like. Of course, you got your quick start guide, warranty information against defects, and your warranty guide. It does come with a two year standard uh, defect warranty, and the braiding on this is super thick holy cow this is some thick wire right here it comes with two USBs uh, this is to power the keyboard as well as a pass-through this is a pass-through USB right here so you don't have to have this one plugged in to make the keyboard work but it's definitely recommended but you know it's already there so why not the keyboards pretty heavy we'll get back to that I want to take a look at what else is in the package here um, nothing else in the box a lot of cardboard cut out and this is your soft padded uh, wrist guard for all those long nights of gaming or whatever else you do with your computer late at night so it is nice and soft it's kind of a leathery feeling um, it's it does seem like it would actually this is really nice I really like this huh I like that a lot okay and inside the plastic here let's go ahead and break this seal off you have got your black mechanical keyboard. It does have an aluminum construction to it, so it's very sturdy. Um, it's it's pretty heavy. Uh, it's not going to slide around on you, as you can see right here. It's not. I'm pushing that. It's not going to slide on you because the feet, uh, the rubber feet on here, are very very soft. Uh, but once you couldn't even see that. But that's because the rubber feet on here are very very soft. But once you flip up the feet. Uh, these are plastic. They, the feet are not rubber on the bottom, the pop-ups. So you you might have it slide a little bit on you once you pop those up. Um, the bottom of the keyboard is plastic, but the top is uh, brushed aluminum. On the top of the keyboard here, you do have a uh, program launch button. You have uh, brightness control. You have a keyboard lock. This is a Windows lock. You know that um, Windows button right here? Sometimes you accidentally bump that when you're gaming and you bring up the start menu on Windows. It's extremely frustrating. It's extremely annoying and you want to rage. If you push that button, it'll lock it so that you don't bump this. Uh, over here you have your standard uh, caps lock, uh, or num lock, caps lock, and scroll lock. You have your mute switch right here. And then this is a scroll wheel here for volume up and volume down. You have stop, rewind, play fast forward, or play pause and fast forward. So you do have some multimedia control. And this is featuring the cherry red switches. So if you've heard my uh, Razer, my Razer Black Widow Ultimate, which is right here that I'm currently using, um, it's very loud. If you listen to this, the switches on these are very loud. However, the ch these are cherry blue switches, the cherry red switches. not nearly as loud cherry red cherry blue so you can see it's very noisy so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and throw on these red keys uh, this does have a red backlight and it also has um, 
customizable backlighting onto this so you can turn on and off certain backlit keys. So we're gonna go ahead and set that up. We'll come back and we'll continue the video from that point. Okay, so as you can see here, I've already switched the WASD keys and the one through six with the red keys. Um, they do have a slightly different contour to them. They're, they're kind of bold so that the A, S, and the D kind of make a, a gradual slope and the W kind of swoops forward a little bit. It's gonna be kind of hard to pick up on the camera, uh, but that's the way that they're angled, just those keys, which kind of gives you more of a, a, a gamer feel of where your hands are on the keyboard without really looking. Um, same thing with the one through six, and all together, all those keys make a nice little dish so that you can kind of tell where you're touching just by the feel. And actually, I, I really like that. That feels very, very nice. I just wanna show you real quick before we plug this in, the tool and how easy it is to switch and remove these keys including removing any keys that you need to clean uh, because all of these keys are are very easily removable see if you spill something down on the keyboard and you want to clean it or well, you're very anal and you want to remove all of these keys on the keyboard clean it you can just take this tool push it down on the key it snaps in or pull it up and out comes the key just that simple. So let's go ahead and plug this in and see exactly how the backlighting looks. I can't wait to get rid of this blue. This is a nice keyboard, but uh, it's just time for a change. I've had this one for a year now. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see exactly how it looks. Okay, and we're back and we've got the keyboard installed. I've got my mouse plugged into the back here because, uh, well, I'm just demonstrating that the pass through actually works and that's how I'm controlling my mouse. You're gonna see some weird flickering stuff going on here with the LEDs, but just rest assured that is the camera because I'm being lazy and using my webcam for this review. So the refresh rate of the camera and the LEDs is just creating a weird effect. So just ignore the blinking because it's not actually blinking. Uh, so when it comes to the LED control, you've got two different buttons right here. You've got the brightness button, which you can see right here, you've got uh, off, low, medium, high, off, and then you've got this little button right here that changes which LEDs will light up. So if I make this a little bit darker here, it's kind of hard to see. If I push this button once, just the red keys light up. If I push it again, all of them light up. So it just switches between which keys will light up. So if you're a hardcore gamer at night and you only want the arrow keys and the WASD and one through six keys to light up, you can do that. Or you can push that button to get them all off uh, with the brightness or you can turn the brightness all the way up and then have all the keys on or just those red keys. On the back right here, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, there is a, a toggle switch right here, one through four. I had to do a little research on that and what that was. It says BIOS. And what it is, is it has to do with BIOS compatibility with some motherboards and gaming keyboards when it comes to the refresh rate. Um, you know, the gaming keyboards and mechanical keyboards tend to send signals much faster due to the type of switches and they're accelerated. They are hardware accelerated inside. So some older motherboards have a hard time uh, being compatible with that. So the Corsair forums recommended that if you have a, moder a modern motherboard uh, to leave it on setting one, which is a uh, 100 hertz or 1000 hertz or one megahertz uh, refresh rate. So it's a one megahertz refresh rate from when you push a button to when the motherboard registers that signal. Other than that, this is a very awesome keyboard. I'm very happy with the way it feels with the pad on here and how comfortable it is to type on. I like to have the feet up, otherwise this is a little too flat uh, for my hands, but the, the mute switch works perfectly. Everything works perfectly. And I guess there's only one thing left to do to make it official that this is my new keyboard. And that is to remove the plastic covering the Corsair logo. There we go, we're installed. Jay's Two Cents is now rocking the Corsair Vengeance K70. Oh my God, I almost forgot what I got. The K70 keyboard. And now I guess the only thing left to do is to get rid of this old MX518, which has served me for so long and done such a good job at elevating my game which is why I also picked up a Logitech G700S. It is a gaming wireless keyboard, uh, mouse. It is a gaming wireless mouse. And I decided I'm gonna give it a shot. I've been against wireless mice because of the delay, but I did a lot of research on this mice, this mice, this mouse before buying it because I didn't want there to be any input lag. I'm gonna do a re unboxing review of the G700S Logitech Wireless Rechargeable Gaming Mouse right here on Jay's Two Cents. As always, do that normal stuff. Subscribe, like, favorite, follow me on Twitter, like the Facebook page, 
I just gave away a Steam copy of Bioshock Infinite on Twitter as a thousand subscriber or a thousand follower. Thank you. And my next giveaway is going to be on Facebook at 500 likes. So make sure you go down into the description, find the Facebook link, click it, like it, and I'll see you in my next video. And with that, we're gone.